Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a paper carnation in time for Mother's Day. And I'll be linking the materials you need below along with the template I'll be using for my Cricut or you could use the Silhouette or other cutting machines. You could also use the template to hand cut, but I'll also have another tutorial linked below to show you how to fully hand cut them with no template for those that don't have cutting machines. After you have the shapes cut out through the cutting machine with white paper, I like to add some watercolor and this is optional and you could choose any color you want. I am painting only the inside area, leaving the small edge of white within the shape. You will need to do this to six of the patterns and all six should fit within the letter size cardstock paper. Once it's dried enough, gently bring out the shapes off the mat and flip it around and paint the same amount on the other side, still leaving a little white edge on each shape. It'll take a few minutes for it to fully dry, so I like to have these all prepped beforehand. Then take a stack of two and fold it in half and half again. Then cut some fringes along the edges. It does not have to be intricate fringes, just a few on each shape. Next, open up once and start shaping each side by fan folding towards the center. I do this in the stack so I could do half the work, but if you feel like it is easier to work with just one at a time, you could do it fully open. You don't have to fully crease the folds, we just want to have some waves to each petal. Once you are done with shaping, gently open it up and separate the stack. We'll be doing the same thing to the rest and you should have a total of six. Again, I like to work in increments of two so I could do less work, but you could always do one at a time if it's easier to shape. Do the same folding and cut some fringes and open up to a half circle and fan fold to shape each petal, then gently open it up. Next, poke a hole in the center to all six. Then I like to use this thicker wire for the stem, cut a length you like, and poke it through one of the flower shapes. Then glue the wire into the shape. Fold it into half a circle while gluing, then glue again the bottom, and gather up the half circle ends to bunch up the flower. This does not have to look perfect. Then add another flower shape and glue the bottom of the first one. Bunch up the second piece to the first one. Continue to do this until you have all six of the flowers glued. This should naturally open up and get wider. Next, get any colored tissue paper about a letter size and fold into a thin strip. Glue one side and add to the wire below the flower and roll onto itself until the end. Glue the ends secure. Then I'm using this scrap green paper I had. You'll need three pairs of very small leaf shapes so you just need a small strip of green cardstock paper. Fold that in half and I'm going to be cutting three pairs of leaves with this. The leaf shape should have a small stem on one side and then the pointy tip on the other side. Because I folded it in half to do the pairs, I make sure to cut through the folds if they are attached at the ends. Next, shape the leaves and I like to work in pairs. Curl the leaves in and curl the stem back and curl the top in, kind of like a letter S for Sarah. Do this to the rest of the leaves. Then take floral tape and cover up the tissue paper area right below the flower. I go around a few times to make sure all of the white is covered up and I go down the stem and back up if I missed any white areas. Then floral tape about an inch or so below the tissue paper area. Then add your first pair of leaves and floral tape on itself a few times. And bunch up the floral tape by making the floral tape folded up. Then after you feel like the leaf area has a small round area, open the floral tape and continue down the stem 
and after about an inch or two below, you could add your next pair of leaves. I feel like the carnations have this rounded shape on their stems where the leaves are, so that is what I'm trying to mimic here. Finish up all the three pairs of leaves and floral tape the rest of the stem. Once you're done, you could open up the leaves and reshape anything that is needed. Next part of this, I wanted to show you another way to add color to these paper carnations. Since our first one had the color in the inside with the white outer edge, I wanted to show you the opposite, another popular carnation look. I use a solid light pink color cardstock paper to cut these using the same template and fold it up and add the fringes just like the way we did it the first time. But this time I'll be using a marker to outline the outer edges. This could be any color you want. I'm using this rosy pink color marker. Once you have the edges colored, do the fan fold shaping and do this to each shape. Open up the shapes and poke the holes in the center. Then glue the same way like our first carnation and repeat your steps. I really like both the looks of the carnation and if you're going to make a bouquet or an arrangement of carnations, I think having the variety will be cute. I've also seen a blue edge carnation, so you could really get creative with coloring these. I also wanted to show you how to wrap it up at the end, so please skip through if you need to. Next, I made a rough draft with pencil on a paper with the message I want. And with white Sharpie fine point, I letter that onto clear cellophane wrap. You'll need to set it aside for a few minutes to fully dry and while it is drying you could get some tissue paper to wrap the carnation and fold diagonally and fold in the other side while cinching the tissue paper onto the stem of the carnation. And then add that below the clear wrap and wrap that around. Then add the ribbon to close it off. Now your carnations is gift ready. Please like this video below and subscribe. Thank you for watching.